This morning, President Trump is calling an alleged chemical weapons attack in Syria heinous. And we've just learned he's set to make a decision on a U.S. response within the next 24 to 48 hours. Mola Lingi has details from the White House. Rebel leaders in Syria say dozens of people were killed in an apparent chemical attack in Douma, Syria. We received uh, many patients who suffered, suffered from symptoms compatible with exposure to chlorine gas, high concentration chlorine gas. The White House says President Trump is considering how the U.S. should respond, and all options are on the table. Can you rule out taking actions, launching airstrikes against Assad, Mr. Secretary? I don't rule out anything right now. Sunday, he tweeted that. Putin, Russia, and Iran are responsible for backing animal Assad. Big price to pay. It remains to be seen how the alleged chemical attack will change long-term U.S. strategy in Syria. Just last week, the president told his military advisors he wants to pull the U.S. out of the country within the next six months. It's uh, time to come back home. And we're thinking about that very seriously. New National Security Advisor John Bolton spent his first day on the job advising the president on how to proceed. He's been hawkish on Syria in the past, advocating for more airstrikes. At least 14 people died in a missile strike on a Syrian airbase overnight, including three Iranians. Russia, which supports Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad, blamed the airstrike on Israel. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House.